Missy and welcome to my channel and if you're returning welcome back um, so I needed to do some filming today because as always I'm behind um, but I want to kind of start off by saying that I'm not sure when my uh, next filming will be after this I have been having a lot more pain in my back as of late so I'm going to have to get another injection plus go back to physical therapy for it plus they want me to go to a chiropractor for the issues I've been having with my neck again so that honestly doesn't leave me a lot of time for filming and it's honestly quite painful for me to film uh, I'm gonna try to get through this today because I, I need to film this because it's a Halloween a Halloween I need to film this because it's a Valentine's Day collection um, but yeah so I'm just letting you know it may be a little bit you know in between some videos I have some videos that are already pre-filmed that are uh, going to go up but yeah so I just want to let you guys in on that um, please if you would not unsubscribe just you know give me the time I need and then you know hopefully everything helps me and I can get back to filming some more videos again um, but okay so Enough with the negative, let's talk about the positive stuff here. Um, I have the complete ColourPop Valentine's Day collection. So we have four blushes that come in little heart compacts. Then we have five of the highlighters, which this is new in the heart compacts these new highlighters coming in this compact then we have three glowing lips in this collection we have three glowing lips in this collection we have two of the face stamps we have a pink and a red heart um, I have a pink heart from a previous collection and I will tell you that that one does stain and stay on so if this is the same thing I'm like mm, okay so I'm a little worried about the red doing that as well but uh, we have those then we have a little bit of skincare here we have a lip scrub and a lip balm it's called cherry balm and this is uh, from their sister brand, Fourth Ray. And then we got a cute little accessory here, a little keychain says talk flirty to me. Super cute. And then last but not least, we have the eyeshadow palette. So some of ColourPop's eyeshadow palettes have fallout and some do not. So I do not have anything but my brows done and I have my skincare on right now. So I'm going to start by priming my eyes. Forgive me, it's been a while since I filmed so things are not where they need to be. So just be patient with me. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Glam Like Icing base in buttercream and I use primers with every eyeshadow palette so if you want to know how the palette performs without a base then I mean, there's other videos on the internet I'm sure there are some creators that did not use a base I like to use bases with mine. Alright, let me just grab a brush here. And I'm just gonna spread that all over the eyelid to the brow bone. So now I'm gonna go in with the palette here. Actually, what I want to do uh, before 
before I start going in with the palette, we're going to use this Lip Scrub and Lip Balm. Let's do the Cherry Lip Scrub and then the Cherry Lip Balm. We can exfoliate the lips. Definitely smells like cherry. Sometimes when they say they smell like cherry, they actually smell like strawberry in my opinion, but this one actually smells like cherry. Okay. So for a lip scrub, it's actually quite, like I feel the scrubby bits, but it's also quite moisturizing. At the same time, but I'm gonna go over top with the lip balm. smells like cherry as well it's not it's not like a super overwhelming scent though so if you don't like super scented things you could probably handle this all right now let's go in with this guy so this is the flirty talk palette and I like how they designed this one let me just remove the little sheet here so it, you can open it up like a book here it's got cute little imagery it's got cute little imagery all on the inside with the lips blown up bubbles as color pop super cute some some people say it's kind of like kidified but i think it's cute i think it's very valentine'sy on theme cutesy valentine's uh, but i like the fact that like you can hold the palette like this and see the colors or you can turn the palette you can turn the palette this way and also be able to read and use the colors so i like the fact they did that all right so i think first thing i'm going to go in with is This head over heels shade. I'm going with this head over heels shade. And I am just going to go in with this ColourPop E16 into that shade. Uh, as you can see, there is no mirror in here. I do like mirrors in my palettes, I will say. It's just kind of what I prefer. But I have this nice little heart-shaped color pop hand mirror that I can use, so I'm just gonna do that. Right, so just dip it in head over heels, and there is quite a bit of kick up in that pan. transition shade I will say this this palette is very icy pink icy white themed on one side and kind of red on the other which is very Valentine'sy. I do wish there was like a brighter pink in there as well. That shade is, is very, very light and kind of comes off like baby pink to like light purple in person.
talk to me and this is one of those mats with shimmer in them I think they're called sequin shades but see how they glitter and most of the time they just kind of perform as mattes and just kind of blend, the glitter kind of blends away. Sometimes they stay behind, just depends on how much is in it. And I am just going to go into my crease with that same brush with that color. And I'm just kind of going a little bit lower than that original baby pinkish color. Yeah, like I see very minimal glitter in that, which is perfectly fine by me. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of glitter. Although apparently ColourPop has been doing a new formula for glitter and it looks like there's one in here. Um, I think they're supposed to be more eye safe from my understanding because they don't have warnings on the palettes with those for some reason. I haven't really, you know, looked into it or anything, but that's just the gist I'm getting from other people talking about it. It's a very, very pretty together since 2007 and we've been married since 2010 so we've been together a while uh, and we pretty much just kind of tell each other what we want <laughs> what we want for Valentine's Day and then just make plans together any of you guys having events where you're going out with your friends and having like a Galentine's type day event Alright, so I think what I'm going to do now is, I don't know if I want to keep it simple or if I want to try to deepen this look up a little bit. I think I might want to keep it soft and simple, honestly, with this. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my NYX Glitter Glue next and <clears throat> put that all over my lid. going to use this ColourPop E3 to do that and I'm just going to put it over my lid and then a little above where I have hooded lids, slightly hooded lids. And just kind of follow that area of my eye to kind of like fake cut crease. down so that I'm not looking up and creasing that glitter glue. This is very sticky. shimmers. I think it might just be one 
shimmer today. We'll see. Um, definitely going to go in with this shimmer right here, Cuddle Up. And there wasn't much kick up in the Talk To Me shade like there was in the other shade before that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to grab my MAC Fix Plus and spray that shimmer. It just helps with fallout. And I'm just going to pack that on my lid. some more of the shimmer. There we go. Very soft, very subtle. go in with the darker shimmer on the outer edge to kind of give me a bit of depth. It's just a personal preference for me, but you can easily leave it like that. If you like more subtle, softer makeup. a very soft shimmer in the pan. Alright, I don't know if you can see the sh shifty sparkle with that one. I think I'm going to tap into the, that glittery Be Mine shade. This one, this is pressed glitter it looks like. And I think I'm just going to, again, spray it. And I'm just going to tap that kind of in the center. Just to kind of give an extra little... You can always go in with your finger and sometimes you get more, more pigment, more oomph out of it that way, but okay. And you see it just kind of brightened it up a little bit. I think I'm going to go into this shimmer here, Blushing, and go on the outer part of my eye. Just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. Hopefully I don't mess this up by doing that. Just again spraying it.
see how it gives it a li little bit more dimension on the outer edge there. And then I'm just going to go back in with that first uh, or that second matte we did, the one with the glitter in it, the talk to me shade. And then I'm just going to go back in that crease, just kind of mesh everything. into that head over heels and go up here towards the brow bone with it. Okay. All right, so I am going to pop off camera, do my face, and then I'll be back to use a blush, a highlighter, and uh, finish the eyes and stuff with you guys. And then we've got some more things to play with. All right. All right, I'm back. So I have my foundation, my um, bronzer on, and so now we're going to delve into the blushes and the highlighters before we finish up the eyes. All right, so we have four blushes here, and they're all heart complex. They are all in the heart compacts. This is hot to touch. This is what the component looks like. These are actually easier to open than their previous um, heart shape. So I think they were listening when all of us said they were hard to open. So this is what that one looks like. We may go with that one, not sure yet. Let's check out the others. So we have Cupid's Bow. Definitely the brightest one of the bunch. There's the compact and the inside. Um, not gonna go with that one. Let's see here. Maybe. It's too peachy. going to go with hot to touch. Alright, so I'll just grab my blush brush. I'm just going to go in with this ColourPop F24. Just to kind of 
tie everything in. It's very buildable. So if you want more pigment on it, very buildable. I like that. It's super pretty. All right. So again, that is hot to touch. And like I said, these are so much easier to open. Now it's going to make me a liar. Yeah. So I have nails on it. It was easier to open than the old ones. All right. And now I'm going to spray my face with some Mac Flix Plus because I like to do that before I go in with a highlighter. But let's uh, look at the highlighters first though before I do that. All right, so the first one we have is Heart of Gold. And that's what that one looks like. And there is the shade. It's kind of peachy, pinky peachy. All right, and then we have In My Feels. That's what it looks like. Okay, so that's a purple highlighter. Light lavenderish purple. Really pretty. Alright, then we have Love Struck. Lighting is really messing with me. Uh, making memories. So that is this one. It's got white lettering on the packaging, so the light's kind of like not focusing on it. It's like washing it out. Okay, this looks like an icy white highlighter. Uh, which you guys know I like a icy white highlighter, especially for the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, and then last we have You're Glowing, but spelled U R. This is what the component looks like. So that one is very icy looking as well. Okay, so I know I definitely are not I'm not going for these two, Heart of Gold or In My Feels. All right, because they don't go with this look. And then let's see here. Let me kind of swatch these three and see which one I think is going to go. Alright, so there's kind of like that icy white. 
This one's kind of yellowy, like pale yellow. And then we have pale yellow, icy white, and then the pinky one. I think we're gonna go with the pinky one. Yeah. And I might use the icy white in my inner corner of my eye. Let's see. Okay. So, let me spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. And you don't have to use MAC Fix Plus. You can use um, any setting spray. Alright, so we're going in with Love Struck. And I'm going in with a Lunar Beauty LBF 5 brush for that. a sheen too and the light hits it. I like that. Really pretty. Complements that blush really well. Alright, so now let's finish up the eyes. And I have a smudger brush from Moda Pro. Um, BMX 402 is the number, it looks like. And I just want to grab the palette here. And what I want to do is I'm going to go into this dark matte burgundy color called Heart Emoji. Emoji, And it has a little bit of glitter in it as well. Okay, grab my mirror. I'm just going to go under the lash line. pop of red, get a bit of a smoky look, and I'm not going all the way under, I'm just going to, from the outer edge to the center of my eye. Alright, then I'm going to clean that off, and then I want to go in with Talk To Me. right underneath that shade. Just kind of diffuse it a little bit. Alright, and now I want to take that Cuddle Up uh, shimmer that I used on the lid and I just want to place it right here. some sparkle to the lower lash line. I just think that's pretty and it helps open the eye. Make it look a little bigger. Yeah. Okay, and now what I want to do is I actually want to go in to this highlighter here, the Naked Memories one. And I'm just going to go in with my pinky finger on that. Put that in my inner corners. Just to really brighten that area up. Yeah. Okay. And now what I want to do is 
So I'm gonna grab a eyeliner from Waterline, and I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop Green Cream Gel Liner in the shade Fluffy. And just put that in my waterline. And then I will be back after I put on mascara and lashes, and then we'll use the glowing lips and maybe the um, stamps. Alright, be right back. Alright, so this is the finished eye look. Um, ignore this little mess up here because I try to eyeliner I got from the Dollar Tree and then it just ran everywhere so I did my best to try and clean that up. But yeah. So this is the finished eye look. Super pretty, super soft eye look. So let's go in to the glowing lips now and try them out. I did wipe off the lip scrub and lip balm from my lips that I put on earlier. So this so we have candy kisses, tickled pink, and Red Hot are the glowing lip colors. So let's just open them up. And here's the component for Red Hot. So it's going to be a nice burgundy ish red color. Actually, it might be more straight up red. Christmas collection. Okay. And then cherry can or no, sorry, candy kisses. So this one looks like a like a mauve color. the red one first because that's I know that's not gonna be the one I wear so this is red hot no lip liner or anything on my lips about these they do feather out so you really especially with these darker colors you're going to want to use a lip liner but there is that one very light, very neutral. So if you don't want like a super pigmented lip, you want a softer lip. It's pretty. The 
this would be more like an everyday color for me because it's not not like wow it's still pretty though so again that is candy kisses sweet smell to them. Okay. There is tickled pink. I really like this one with this eye look. I think it's pretty. Um, let me fix my hair and then I'll be back to finish out the video. Okay, sorry if the angle is a little bit different. My card filled up so I had to change it out, but this is finished look, super pretty. I did pop in these cute little candy heart clips that I got from ColourPop. I think it was last year. Uh, but yeah. So let's talk about the products. Let's start with these because I did pop on these two stamps. Every time I try to use these, either I'm doing them wrong, I don't know. They leave a, like a circular ring around that I have to try to clean up or they don't fill in the heart completely. Um, they do stain because I had to wipe off and try and redo like four times and I had to use concealer to kind of cover it up. So this is the best this one's gonna get. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so not my favorite. Um, and we have the lip scrub and the lip balm. Uh, the lip scrub didn't, um, completely exfoliate my lips that could just be me not doing it long enough but there's that and then they were both super moisturizing so not bad on those and then we have you know the heart shaped blushes and highlighters and let me just grab one of each here and I have the highlighters and the blushes you guys know I love the the packaging on these except for in the past they were really hard to open I will say these were a lot easier to open even with press on nails so thank you Colourpop for actually listening to us and making them a bit easier to open um, as far as product goes just your you know the highlighters are very glowy very pretty at least the one I used um, I can't wait to use the other ones I did use two because I used another one inside in my inner corner of my eye. And then the blush I really liked as well. It's like very blendable and very buildable at the same time. So I really like those. Uh, the glowing lips. You guys know I'm a liquid lip person because I prefer them to dry down. These are nice though if you want a shiny, comfortable lip i don't think they're gonna last though if you like eat and drink um, i am going to be eating dinner in a little bit so i will test that out and see and let you guys know um and then lastly the palette i like the palette i like how this turned out a very soft uh pink look super pretty i can't wait to use it um, I might use it on Valentine's Day to try to do a red look, but yeah, I like how this turned out. I think it's very pretty, very cute. Um, if you guys want to know where my accessories are from, like I said, these are from ColourPop. I don't think they're available anymore. Earrings are from Claire's, and this necklace came from Kohl's. Again, you know... Please don't ups unsubscribe if I don't have as much content lately. Like I explained in the beginning, you know, I've been having more pain and stuff. I've had to take several breaks while filming this one. So, you know, I have to go back to physical therapy and the chiropractor and get an injection and everything. And that takes up a lot of time. So I really need to focus on that to try to help at least get me 
in less pain. Uh, so yeah, if you guys would please like and subscribe down below, it really helps my channel and I would appreciate it. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day, whether you're spending it with friends or, you know, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or, you know, whatever. Until next time, guys. Bye!